Wow, Dad, look at all this snow. Hey, Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone else likes it too. It's as cold as a polar bear's nose today. Well, it's perfect for my spicy parsnip soup, though. Oh, now there's a real treat. Yep, Maggie's promised me a whole load of parsnips. They'll be all the sweeter after this freezing cold weather. Reminds me of the time when I drove a team of huskies through the frozen wastes of Greenland. My toes turned into popsicles. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Right, you are. Missed again, Mario. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you. Mario! <gasps> Uh-oh. Did you take those crunchy munchies from the deli counter? Um, what crunchy munchies, Mama? <laughs> oh, Eddie. To me, please. Mm. Uh, and the other one. I said these are for after lunch, not before. <sighs> Sorry, Mama. Come on, let's go sledging. I think someone else wants to come too. <laughs> and I'd better get started on my soup. Maggie will be here with a parsnip soon. I can't wait. <gasps> oh, neither can Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, this snow's so deep. Good thing the parsnips are protected under the polytunnel, or I'd never be able to dig them out, Millie. Oh, no! My polytunnel! Oh, how on earth am I going to get Shane his parsnips now? So there I was, stuck on an iceberg, floating out to sea with a homesick penguin. <sighs> yes, it is a very sad story. No, it's not your story, Sam. It's the onions. Oh, they get me every time. I know how to fix that. Try standing on one foot with a slice of bread in your mouth. It never fails. It's what all the top chefs do. Really? Well, all right, I'll give it a go. Oh, what will I lose? Oh! Here he is, Shane the Chef. But be quiet. You'll scare them. You'll scare who? Oh, oh, oh just oh, look at oh. I'm sure that fox was sniffing around the restaurant this morning. And that other one spooked my sheep. I recognise its wonky ear. They look really hungry. This cold weather's made it really hard for wild animals to find food. There must be something we can do to help them. Hmm. Think I know what we can do. Right, Izzy. So today, we're going to cook up something a little different. So we've got lard, bird seed, leftover cheese, currants, oats and sultanas. And empty yoghurt pots and string. Right. Let's get cooking. For the, the animals. animals. There we go. Lovely bird cakes. And we have plenty of leftover scraps for the foxes. Yay! Let's get feeding. Yay! Oh, looks like Shane the chef has served up another treat. <laughs> You've done it again, Dad. The animals love it. Ah, oh, it's all thanks to you, Izzy. Sometimes we need reminding that nature needs a helping hand. Your mum would be so proud. Aw, Dad. Here he is, Shane the chef. Shane, you dropped your garlic earlier. I'm just returning it. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> You know, when I was little and I had a cold, my mum would always make me a bowl of chicken soup. It always made me feel better. When I bumped into Mrs Singh earlier, she told me that garlic was good for cold. At least some people think so. Certainly sounds better than goose grease and mustard. Oh, 
What about chicken soup with roasted garlic? Oh, just the sound of that makes me feel better. Achoo! Izzy, there's some leftover chicken and a jug of vegetable stock in the fridge. But you still can't taste anything, Dad. What if it's like JG's porridge? It won't be, because you'll be making it. Chicken soup with roasted garlic coming up, everyone. Let's get back to cooking. Chicken soup with roasted garlic. I hope it's all right. Whoa, hey, I can taste it. Oh, I must be feeling better. Izzy, this is delicious. <coughs> Such a delicate flavour, Izzy. Mm, I feel better already. Yeah, I might not be cured exactly, but I do feel much better. I don't think we'll have to close the restaurant after all. It's all thanks to you, Dr Izzy. Thanks, Dad. Here he is, Shade the Chef. Mmm. Oh, that does smell delicious. <laughs> yeah, but it still sprouts. Don't tell me you're scared of a little old sprout. Scared? Me? No way. Mmm. Mm. OK, that's not too bad. Brilliant. Oh. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Oh. Mario, what's wrong? I thought you liked the food. I do. Even if it's made out of sprouts. I just wish Dad could be here. Me too, me bambino. Me too. Dad! Yay! Yay. The the That's my elf! He always finds a way to come home. This is my science kit. I can feel it. This better be the new album from the Malignant Whalers. Thanks, Al. Sid, are you sure you can carry all those? Of course. I'll be fine. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the last of the presents. Now, have you got my... Whoa! <laughs> Turkey! Thanks, Al. Mm -hmm. Now I've got everything I need for my Christmas Eve feast. What about all those tasty sprout dishes? Well, they're good enough to eat on their own. Tell you what, why don't I cook this turkey on Christmas Day? Christmas dinner for the whole town. That would be wonderful, Shane. We can find the rest of the veg tomorrow. Of course. I can't think of a better way to celebrate Christmas Day than a meal with everyone you love. Oh, lovely, <laughs> Dad. <gasps> no way. Guess what I've just seen? <laughs> it's just Dad. There he goes, off on another delivery. So much to do tonight. <laughs> but he can't be. Can he? Here he is, Shade Chef. Ta-da! Wow, Izzy, you look very glam. Come and give me a hand. I'll just fluff up the couscous and then we can put the pomegranate seeds on top. OK. That's funny. Why is a metal detector beeping, Dad? Oh, dear. Maybe it is broken. No wonder we couldn't find Maggie's necklace. Well, something's wrong. It's meant to be a metal detector, not a fruit detector. Hang on a minute, Izzy. What's that? Mama Polenta's necklace. How did it end up here? I don't know. Unless... <laughs> Hiya. Maggie, I saved the your seed. Thank you, Mama Polenta. I'm afraid I've got something terrible to tell you. You're not wearing the necklace. Oh, 
didn't you like it? No, I loved it, but... Welcome to Glam Night with Jewel Juice. Mmm, I like this juice. And jeweled pomegranate chicken. Yum. Delicious. And of course, freshly made jeweled couscous. <gasps> the necklace! What's it doing there? It's a long story. Escaped goats, a missing necklace, a treasure hunt. <gasps> How exciting! But also rather... Glamorous, <laughs> Mama Polenta. Exactly, Shane. Glamorous. Just like you, Maggie. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Here he is, Shane the chef. Here I have all of my meats and sausages. Bologna, chorizo, salami, cottagino, parma ham, saucisson, sec, nogverse, bratverse, liverwurst. <laughs> and here I keep my cheeses. Amber and camembert, blue cheese and bath cheese, brie, bosworth, bouillon, brindamore, buffalo, cheddar, cavilli, gorgonzola, grie, mozzarella, parmesan, roquefort, stilton, slipcote, allegio, tourmalet, waterloo, wensleydale. <laughs> Mama Polenta, are you all right? I'm fine, Izzy. <laughs> I just love my cheeses. <laughs> oh, but I wish I didn't sell as many. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, Shane the OK, everybody, it's sandwich time. Doing? I can't say officially until the sandwich is complete, but unofficially, it's looking very good. Very good indeed. We shouldn't be too much longer. Uh -oh. <gasps> Look out! Hey! Stop! Oh, it's moving what off! What is he doing? Sizzling saucepans! <gasps> Watch out! Whoa, it's out of control! Where are going? Oh, no! Oh, come on. Quick! Ooh. Whoa, help! Izzy! Oh, no! Wait, wait, wait! Ah! Oh. 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 Oh
OK, Dad. Right, let's get cooking. Almost done. Now, you sprinkle them with... Oh, no. Dad! Dad! Oh, no. His battery must have run out. What am I supposed to sprinkle them with? Uh. <gasps> what about cinnamon? Eh, hey, you're the boss. But well, I mean chef. <laughs> yes, now, that should work. OK, Eddie. This is it. <laughs> Yes, we have lift off. Well, I mean, <laughs> lift down. Almost done. Just as well. I'm not sure the customers could take much more of Mario's singing. <laughs> Baked apples. Give them to me. Take them from the floor. And not from the tree. Oh, Mario, you sing like an angel. <laughs> Just like your mama. Dessert is served. Yay! Oh, Yummy. Ah, oh, are we in time for dessert? I hear the baked apples are awesome. Here you go, Shane. Thanks, Mario. Oh, look at that. I sprinkled the apples with cinnamon. Is that OK? That's exactly what I would have done. They are delicious. Here he is, Shane the Chef. There you are. You've been gone ages. Yeah, you'd be surprised how tricky cherry picking can be. I'll tell you all about it after we've made the cherry crumble. What do you need, Dad? OK, we need wholemeal flour, vegetable margarine, a little sugar, chopped almonds and our lovely cherries. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious cherry crumble. Back of the oven. Yay! Two spores, some delicious cherry crumble. With custard. Oh, come on. Here we go. Please. Oh, boy, and yes. me. Hey, that's my phone. Well, look at that. They think uh... it's for you. Everyone's talking about my cherry crumble. Hello. Oh, no, I lost my phone. Well, no, I didn't lose it. It was stolen by a magpie. <laughs> no, he just dropped it back. Hear me crumble. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Shane the Chef channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pasta. I mix flour and eggs just like this. Then combine it by hand to work it into a dough. Ahoy there! I've got today's delivery. Oh, Sam. I'll finish filming later, Daz. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Oh, looks like you've had a busy morning. Oh, aye. The early bird catches the worm. Or in this case, the shellfish. Oh. What's that you're making? Pasta. You know, it would be delicious with my special bolognese sauce. Oh, no. Seafood is best with pasta. What sauce are you making, Dad? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably something simple and fresh to show off the pasta. But my recipe is so rich and tasty. 
Ah, but you can't beat freshly caught seafood. But mine is a true Italian recipe. And mine is straight from the sea to the plate. Can't beat it. Yes, I can. No, he can't. Hey, let's have a cook-off in the town square. You'll have one hour, and then the customers can pick the winning dish to go on the menu at Fresh. Oh, Mamma Mia, but I couldn't. It would be too easy. You <laughs> what? With my quality seafood? I don't think so. Only a true Italian can make the perfect pasta sauce. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> You're going to love my bolognese, everyone. <laughs> Wait till you've tried my seafood pasta. One time, I fed it to the pirate Longbeard. Of course, he still wanted me to walk the plank. Here he is, Shake Shack. Beat to it. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival. Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs. Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention. And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef! Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. Now, I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable, Pak Choi. I've got peppers, Mama Polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make Pak Choi stir-fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shane the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the pak choy. So, let's get cooking. There you have it. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy. And finally, a pak choy stir fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done. Come on, folks, tuck in. Great job, Dad. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? Nope. No. Sorry, JG. Here he is, Shane the Make way for the mackerel! <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the fish and vegetables aren't quite ready. Oh. Oh. But they are fresh. And that means I can show you how we cook a Mediterranean barbecue. Hey. Yay! Yay. So, let's get cooking. Yes, the fish is ready. Who's hungry? Yes, yes please. Yes, please. Oh, this is delicious, Shane. <laughs> oh, is he? Have you got that, um, special dish we cooked up for Sam. <laughs> there you are. Ta-da! My phone! How did it get there? You left it in the kitchen. Now we can call you when you're out at sea. Mind you, I rather like the old checkered flag waving. Very dramatic. I think we've had quite enough drama for one day. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, Shane the Chef. 
Morning, you lot. Hi, Hi Sam. Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, and hello, Eddie. Uh, I think Eddie wants to pick mussels too. Eddie can help, but it's Sam who knows everything about mussels. No worries, Shane. We love a bit of mussel picking, don't we, Eddie? What? I'll get the tomatoes while he shows you what to do. OK, let's get cracking. Come on. I bet I get more mussels than you. Ha! Huh. Even Eddie will get more mussels than you. What? No, he won't. Keep an eye on that tide, kids. We don't want to be stuck here when that comes in. <laughs> I remember the time when we were marooned out on the settled sands for days and days and days. Can we get mussels now? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Here we go. You'll not find any mussels down there in the sand. They like clean water and a bit of rock to cling to. Just like that one there. Wow! Look at all those mussels. They're just shells. You can't eat them. <laughs> you don't eat the shell. You eat the soft, juicy bit inside. It's really tasty. Ugh, yuck. I don't want to eat them. I just want to pick them. Only pick the big ones, mind. We need to leave the little ones to grow. Just get hold of a big one and twist it from the cluster. Ooh! Perfect. Then all they'll need is a bit of a scrub and those beards of theirs taken off. Beards? Yes, they have beards, although not quite as glorious as mine. <laughs> Here he is, Shade the Shell. Oh, don't worry, Izzy. Even if your app's right, Sam can handle a bit of fog. He'll keep your dad safe. Yeah, I guess. Right, here come the prawns! Not many prawns, <laughs> are there, Sam? Don't you worry, Shane. It's an old fisherman's trick. We haul up the nets so the prawns think we're done for the day. Then they come out of wherever they're hiding. And we drop the nets back in and catch the lot. Ho, ho, ho. Right, here we go. This is the one. Oh. No. Oh. Right, one more try. Oh, I hope we catch something this time, or that'll be prawns off the menu as well. Third time lucky. That's the fisherman's way. Come on, come on, prawns. Come on, little pink prawns. Come on, please, please. Look! What did I tell you? Well, hey! Back of the net. Now that's what I call a fresh prawn. Here he is, Shade the Well, my surprise is ruined. I can't give her these headless flowers. I don't suppose you have any flowers I could use? No, sorry. All we have are vegetables. Vegetables? Brilliant! Izzy, you're a genius. Oh, look at that! What are you doing? Oh. Where is he? <clears throat> Sid, there you are. I was getting worried. <laughs> what are you up to? I've got a little surprise for you. Ta-da! Wow! <gasps> it's the most amazing and original bunch of flowers... Oh, uh, vegetables I've ever had. I love it. Thank you. But what's the occasion? Well, it's to say I love you. Oh, Sid, I love you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just a beautiful. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, if you think they look beautiful, just wait until you taste them. Look! Vegetable chilli, using all of the same vegetables with some wholemeal flatbreads on the side. Well Ooh, done, Dad. Count me in, Shane. And me. <laughs> Us too, please, Shane. Yum! 
This is delicious. Who would have thought that these same vegetables would make such a beautiful bouquet too? Yes, but much tastier than real flowers. <laughs> well, to everyone except a goat, that is. <laughs> huh? What? Why are you all laughing? <laughs> oh, Millie! <laughs> So, we have the mushrooms, the breadcrumbs, the onions, herbs and eggs. Are you ready, Izzy? Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. Mushroom burgers all round. Tuck in. Mm. 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 Yummy. I'm not sure about this. Um, mm. not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Shane, have you got another? Two is rather a lot, though, Mario. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for my rescue dog. Here you go. Here you go, Eddie. <laughs> Mind you, I think Eddie's had plenty of burgers today. <laughs> Here he is, Shane the This is my land. Oh, Miguel, I'm hungry. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no. <gasps> <gasps> you have to share. Too bad. Miguel the Marauder never shares. Oh. <laughs> This corn belongs to everyone. <laughs> Get him, El Edo. Whoa! You are vanquished, Miguel. <laughs> Eddie! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you were all magnificent. <laughs> Especially my Mario. Mama. You saved the day, kids. Yay! <laughs> Yes, Eddie. Just what I was thinking. Where's the popcorn? Coming right up. And I'm going to make corn on the cob too. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Hush, please. Exciting. There she goes. It's going crazy. I think that's the last pop. Hey! <laughs> Yummy. Not so fast, Miguel the Marauder. That corn is for sharing, remember? Oops. Sorry, Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, have you seen Eddie? Eddie? He saved me. What a hero. Oh, which way did he go? That way. Thanks, Jay. Come on, Mario. Right. Now to make Mario like spinach. I've got the mint, onions and garlic, plus eggs and some breadcrumbs. Oh, and the spinach, of course. Let's get cooking. <laughs> to let that simmer and job done. Some super secret spinach meatballs for Mario. Hi, Dad. Hey, Izzy. I'm just finishing today's menu, especially with Mario in mind. Ah, well, that's funny, because here's Mario, and he's got something to tell you. 
Uh, yeah, well, I didn't mean for it to happen. There you go, Mario. Thanks, Shane. I thought your dad would be angry with me, but he didn't really say anything. Just made meatballs. I think Dad has a plan to help get Eddie back. Yep, just wait and see, Mario. What's that aroma? Wonderful. Oh, I'm hungry. Can you smell that? Well, look who it is. He smelt the meatballs. It's so good to see you, Eddie. I thought that might do the trick. They're beef and spinach meatballs. Huh? What? Spinach? Mmm, they're actually quite nice. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Shane, you dropped your garlic earlier. I'm just returning it. Thanks, Maggie. <coughs> oh, chill! Oh, 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 you know, when I was little and I had a cold, my mum would always make me a bowl of chicken soup. It always made me feel better. When I bumped into Mrs Singh earlier, she told me that garlic was good for cold. At least some people think so. Certainly sounds better than goose grease and mustard. Oh, what about chicken soup with roasted garlic? Oh, just the sound of that makes me feel better. Achoo! Izzy, there's some leftover chicken and a jug of vegetable stock in the fridge. But you still can't taste anything, Dad. What if it's like JG's porridge? It won't be, because you'll be making it. Chicken soup with roasted garlic coming up, everyone. Let's get back to cooking. Chicken soup with roasted garlic. I hope it's all right. Whoa, hey, I can taste it. Oh, I must be feeling better. Izzy, this is delicious. <coughs> Such a delicate flavour, Izzy. Mm, I feel better already. Yeah, I might not be cured exactly, but I do feel much better. I don't think we'll have to close the restaurant after all. It's all thanks to you, Dr Izzy. Thanks, Dad. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Then add a little rosemary and into the oven they go. La la la, la 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 la. Hey! Sizzling saucepans. Eddie! <laughs> Give those back! <laughs> oh! Where is that boy? Mario! 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 Oops! Gotta go! Coming, Mama! Here he is, Shane the Chef! It won't budge! Look! A torch! Oh, my gosh! Uh, wow! What are those? Aliens! Monsters! Don't panic. I think they're oyster mushrooms. I don't care what they are. I just want to get out of here. It smells mouldy. Let us out! There we go. Great barbecue temperature. That'll be the hickory wood. Don't you mean oak? Us out of here! I'm starving! Shh. Listen, did you hear that? I think it was Eddie. Eddie? Eddie! Has anyone seen Mario? I can't find him! It's not like him to miss Shane's burgers. And is he? Oh, now that you mention it, where's Eddie? Sizzling saucepans! And the burgers have gone. <gasps> no burgers? Ah, 
something strange is going on. Let's find the kids first. Hmm. Okay. All right. Mario! Jay! Honey! Where are you? Is he? Oh, Boy. no. Any luck? No. Sorry. Ah. How did a burger get there? Oh, I think I might know the culprit. Oh, here's another one. Quick, follow them. I knew it! It's my Eddie. He loves burgers. But where's Mario? Help! 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 Thank you for rescuing us, Dad. Yes. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> well, don't thank me. Thank Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Here he is, Shane the Chef. Good colour. Even flesh. Lovely tone. I think he likes it. Yeah, but I really hope Dad's all right. Go for the marrow. The marrow. That's it. Sorry, Mr. Oh. Singh. I'm going to need this. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Izzy. Let me help. Uh, it's going to take more than that to feed everyone. Will this help, Dad? I can't use your marrow. What about the competition? Uh, I changed my mind. Do you think you can make my marrow into something tasty? I know just the thing. You need to get tweaking, JG. Let's get cooking! And tweaking! You did it. Hooray! Hooray! Congratulations! Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. A pumpkin to be proud of. Oh, thanks. But what did Izzy want with her marrow? Roll up, roll up for Izzy's marvellous marrow spaghetti. With very veggie sauce. Here he is, Shade the Chef. Is that our lunch? <sighs> What a mess. The barbecue's here, but where's Dad? Huh? Hi, everyone. Hiya. Sorry lunch is a bit late. What lunch? The pony squashed it. Don't worry, Mario. We've managed to save some of Maggie's butternut squash, and I have the perfect recipe. I'm going to record this for the Shane the Chef channel. Right then, let's get cooking. Where's the sage? Oh, sorry, Shane. I didn't have any sage. Sage! That's it! I knew I recognised it. It's wild sage, right, Dad? That's right. Where was it? Not far. I'll be right back. Aha! There you are. Here you go, Dad. Oh, thanks, Izzy. That's brilliant. All I have to do is tear up the wild sage leaves and add them to the mix. So, let's get cooking again. There we go. Butternut squash fritters and fresh salad from Maggie's farm. OK. Seeing as the winning sauce will be served in the restaurant, I should have the first taste. 
and I, uh, I can't wait. Oh, oh, that is that is hot. That that that's that is hot. Sizzling spicy sauce buns. Well, what do you think? Just taste them. Why? There's nothing wrong with my dish. Oh, <gasps> too much jelly. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, spicy. Oh, water, water. <laughs> what are we going to feed all these people? <gasps> we can't give them this. Dad, I can make a simple pasta sauce that I think everyone will like. Can you get the basil, Mario? Yeah, I'll be right back. Here you go, Izzy. Parmesan, pine nuts, garlic. And the basil. Perfect. You grate the parmesan, Dad. I'll grind everything else together in this. Woohoo! Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. with basil pesto sauce. Mmm, delicious. Pesto pasta, all round. Here he is, Shade and Shep. This empty hive will make the perfect new home for the swarm. All I have to do is open the box and give the bees a bridge to their new home. Uh, what exactly are we waiting for? There, look. All it takes is for one or two of the swarm to find their way. Wow, that's amazing. And the rest soon follow. It'll take a little while for the bees to settle in and start producing honey. Oh, but our other bees have been very busy. Would you like to help me harvest their honey? Oh, yes, please. You know, honey's more than just a food. It's an antiseptic. And it's thought to cure all sorts of ailments. Colts, for instance. It's not scientifically proven, of course. Those bees were amazing. But we still haven't decided on today's special. Uh, maybe something with honey? Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Now, let's see. We've got flour, eggs, brown sugar, butter and fresh ginger. Ah! <gasps> I know what we can make, honey cakes. Let's get cooking. Back of the oven. Great job, Dad. Here he is, Shade the Chef. We're back, Dad. Just in time to give me a hand. What have you done to the rhubarb? Rhubarb leaves are poisonous, so I removed them before you got here. We're all good to go. Can I film this to go on the Shay and the Chef channel? Of course. And now you're here, let's get cooking. <laughs> Simmering, may I introduce today's special guest, Izzy, who will make the custard to go with it. Special guest? 
Me? Yes, you can do it. Okay. Uh, right. So to make um custard, I've got a uh, pasteurized cow's milk, four egg yolks, corn flour, a little sugar, and vanilla essence for flavor. So, uh. Pour the milk into the pan and heat. Oh, right. I pour the milk into a pan. Then... And while that's warming up, I'll whisk up the egg yolks, sugar, corn flour and vanilla. So, let's get cooking. Dad and custard by me, Izzy. Here he is, Shade the Chef. Here we go. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Great save, JG. Can you tell who's the best footballer yet? It's me, isn't it? Nope. It'll all depend on the final score. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Whoa. <laughs> great interception, Mum. Go, Mama. George, uh, I'm coming uh, through. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, calamity. Go. Hey, that's not fair. Well, well, Pass it over, well, Eddie. Go. Well, hey. hey. Go! Hey, that's not fair. My cakes are ready. It's a draw. It's official. Honey and Mario, you're both as good as each other. <sighs> okay, agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Shane, these ham and beetroot rolls are delicious. I'm saving myself for the cakes. Here you go, my special tournament cupcakes. Wow, they look fab. Team captain first. <laughs> All right. Mmm. What are they made of? Is it chocolate? Not exactly. A little cocoa, but mostly beetroot. beetroot. Oh. Um, mmm, um, um, I love beetroot. Back of the oven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Here he is, Shade the Oh, thank you so much, Maggie. Oh, it's my pleasure. Wow, there are so many of them. See what I mean? The aliens are everywhere. It's just a vegetable patch. <sighs> look. They kind of look the same, but... Shh! I need to hear what Shane's saying. OK, then. Let's get these back to the restaurant. I'm glad they've found a home. It says in here that the aliens move into your home, then they control your mind and turn you into a slave. But Shane doesn't look like he's... Ooh, so beautiful. <gasps> Uh-oh! I think they got Shane. What happens next? They tell him to do what they command. Well, these little fellas are telling me they're ready to be picked. <gasps> they got Maggie too. Ooh. Come on then. <gasps> and Dizzy. They're making them pick them up and put them in the boxes. What happens next? I don't know. I haven't read that far. Uh, um. Hurry up. Ah, uh, then the aliens take over the whole town. Everybody in town is going to love this. Um... Watch out! Who are you? Jay, I can't believe it. But you were right about the aliens. Ugh, alien slime! Ugh, 
Ah, I can't pull my foot up. They got me. Ah, get off. Ah, it's on me. Don't be silly. Your shoe's just stuck in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Paul! Ah, come on, Mario. Oh. oh, yuck. I've got mud on my trainers. Forget about that. We've got to save Munchington from the aliens. Here he is, Shade the Shack. Mario! 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 Dad, look! Mario's tissues! He must have gone this way! Oh, well spotted, is he? Isn't that Mario's lip balm? Uh-huh. And this is his water bottle. We're definitely on the right track. Mario! 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 I'm here! Mario! Thank goodness we found you! Uh... Mario, are you OK? I am now. My squirrel friend has been keeping me company. Look, here he is. Ah. Squirrel friend? Right. Yeah. He was here. He really was. Well, I'm just glad we found you safe and sound. You mustn't wander off like that, Mario. Sorry, Shane. All the nuts fell out of my bag, so I went to find them. Then I forgot which way I'd come. Well, the nuts are all here. <laughs> Let's put them in my backpack this time. OK. Now, come on, you two. Time to go. I've got to get back to the restaurant. Coming, Dad. For you, Squirrel. Thanks. Wherever you are. Hey. <laughs> Bye. So, what are we making, Dad? Well, I was thinking simple is probably best. How about a green bean salad with goat's cheese and a few of those blackberries and toasted hazelnuts? Yes, please. Let's get cooking. Kids. Um, um. Here he is, Shade the Shack. What's that, Mario? I can't hear you. Can't be Izzy. She's too far away. Oh well, I'll just have to pick some more. Ah! Someone is taking my nuts, and I'm going to find out who. So you're the nut thief. Oi! Get off of those! Ha! Hmm. Where can I keep my nut safe? I know! My backpack! I can't get them now! Shane! Izzy! You're never gonna believe this! A squirrel has been stealing my nuts. Well, I haven't seen any squirrels. He's over there, look! I hid the rest from him in my backpack. Uh, I don't see it. Don't worry if you haven't got many nuts. We've got lots. <laughs> I told you I'd pick more than you. But I had loads. Let's take a break and have some lunch. Yes, please. Mmm, great sandwiches, Shane. You're welcome. After all that hazelnut picking, we needed them. Yeah, Dad. We do have a lot of hazelnuts. What are we going to do with them? I'll get my backpack. We can put them all in there. Ah, oh, thanks, Mario. Oi, you again? Get off my backpack. I saw that squirrel again. Of course you did, Mario. Huh? Where are my nuts? I knew you didn't have any. I did. OK, OK, enough of that. <laughs> I don't understand it. Let's head back. Here he is, Shade the Shack. Start 
starting positions, everyone. Wait for me. And there. All fixed. Genius. Even if I do say so myself. 30 seconds to start time. But Dad's not here yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Izzy. But we can't wait any longer. <sighs> Dad! I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry, don't worry. <gasps> you made it! You ready for the big push, Izzy? Yes. 15 seconds. Check seat belts, helmets, on your marks. Get set. Here we go. Go! <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 are you all right, Dad? I'm fine. Just keep driving. Hurry up, Mario. Hey, that's not fair. Dad, your extra weight is speeding me up. Well, I'm glad to help. Yay! Oh, wow! Any faster. Ooh. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Quick. Izzy, Oh, here we go. Dad, this huh? is brilliant. Are we winning? Jay, watch out. Whoa, left, right. No, my aerodynamics have failed me. How's it going out there? Amazing. Come on, Gigi. And... Oh! Dad, now swing right. Oh, you must go faster. Now swing left. What, like this? Come on, Gigi. Lean your legs the other way. Like this? Fantastic. Just a little to the left. Ooh, that wasn't meant to happen. I'm out of control. <laughs> Let's go turbo. Oh, that's the emergency brake. Ooh. Woo, yay. Woo. Oh, yay. Dad, we won. Yes. Well done. So much for aerodynamics. What happened to JG's mega car? I'm not sure. I did overtake him. 